going on Garage Collective fam? Welcome back to the Garage Collective YouTube channel. Today we're with one of our members, Jack, here at Garage Collective. He's got this 86 Porsche Turbo behind us with a big single turbo on it. And we're about to find out what it's all about. Let's get it. We made it into the car with Jack and uh, he just took me around a corner. He said, put the camera down. I just want you to feel this. And I felt it. I felt a lot of it. Very twitchy, but in the best way possible. I don't know how to explain that. Those of you that have been in one of these probably know what I'm talking about. We've got some questions for Jack that I want to ask him about this car. So let's get into it. First things first, let's start with the motor. What's done to the motor? Rebuilt motor, number one. And it's kind of necessary. 36 years old, people rev it high, motor gets worn down and messed up. So upgraded heads, things like that. So we have a strong rebuilt motor. You have a bigger turbo, a Garrett turbo. Wish I knew the spec, don't know the spec, <laughs> but you can feel the spec. It's good. Yeah, it's a good spec. Obviously upgraded exhaust, no smog crap. You can't have exhaust and smog on a car like this. Yeah. And uh, a bigger like race intercooler. Oh, so, big intercooler. Big that race intercooler. Thick. It's pretty much the good stuff. Intercooler, exhaust, bigger turbo, more boost. That's really all you need. So this car is basically fully restored, I would say. To its like to, to best, an extent. I mean, we're not talking concours, but yeah, it, yeah. It presents nicely. Jack's family actually has a little thing going on where they all ended up buying the same, not like a bunch of 930s essentially, right? This, not not all the same years, but all 930 all nine. turbos okay. that we all acquired within the past 12 months. Can you tell us about how that how that happened and what well, that's about? It's kind of, you know, silly, but we always go to Monterey Car Week. We love, we're all car freaks, car addicts. Last year we were at Monterey Car Week, somehow we came up with this ridiculous idea that the next year we would try to come with all matching turbos, 930 <laughs> turbos. Obviously we come home from the trip and we start searching crazy. I coincidentally just, I got the first one. Found it and got it from a guy in Texas. A couple months later, my brother found his, also in Texas, really weird. So he acquired a 1989 turbo, which is the last year of 930 turbo. And then my dad actually found one as well. It's an 86, which is the same year as this, but my dad's is yellow. So mine's red, my dad's is yellow, and my little brother has a white one. The effort that we will put in for you guys to get a first gear pull is just unreal. <laughs> We gotta redo it. We gotta redo it. Well, I messed up second a little bit. I thought you were just doing it. We don't. We, we don't do this very often. <laughs> we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Okay. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Let's see if I can clean it up. That's a nice linear power band. Like it, it hits really hard. It looks like around about three, yeah. three thousand, but it pulls all the way up to redline and it like continues to build boost. I feel like through that, yeah. like it doesn't fall on its face at all. I think that's probably because the bigger turbo, which yeah. would make a lot of sense. But how much power does this car actually make? Ish, if you had to guess. If I had to guess, well, I'm not even gonna try to guess. But let's <laughs> let's 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 review this. This stock car, totally stock with 0.8 bar from factory made 282. We already know Porsche historically underestimates their horsepower. I don't yeah. know why that is. It's like a marketing scheme. This does over a bar of boost, bigger turbo, bigger intercooler, less stuff on the exhaust, you know, a free flowing exhaust, no smog. It could be mid 300s, I think. It feels like mid 300s. Mid it feels really good. People love to do the little downshift passes on the freeway. It just does it without downshifting. <laughs> And it doesn't disappoint. I feel like also really quickly I should mention that noise you're hearing, that's an external wastegate. Mechanical wastegate with a little spring. So there's no electronics here at all. To get more boost on this car, when I say it's from 0.8 bar to one bar of boost, how do you do that? You're actually putting in a different spring yeah. in that wastegate. And so that's giving you more boost through the existing system. So it's really kind of easy to actually mod the car and get more boost. That's pretty sick, I didn't know that. Here's a nice little turn. Oh, whoa, yeah. Dude, that, <laughs> that, that 
legs like crazy. It handled the bump like that undulation was perfect. This is soft, right? It it's is. It's like oddly comfortable and soft for being a well handling machine. Oh! <laughs> I love external wastegates, dude. Yeah. In throttle or under acceleration, stays completely flat. What the heck? We have one second to shift so we can maintain throttle through here. Easy hundred. That's just, that is so freaking wild, dude. Do you want to know why that's wild? Because it doesn't feel like it's even trying. Like, it literally feels like you could have gone twice as fast through that. Not literally at 200, but like, you know what I mean? Like, that that feels like it's got so much more in it. It is mysterious how the handling can be so good, but also soft. Yeah, that's... We're used to modern cars, and we put the coilovers, and it's really rough. And that's what we sacrifice for the good handling, whereas this still maintains... But it, it has body roll. You know, modern cars, people don't want the body roll, but I can I can deal with a little body roll here because now the car's comfortable. Well, and it's loading up. And it's, it's loading. It's like, a, it's actually a helpful body roll. When this car, I obviously I had no video. I didn't know what it sounded like, but when it came off the truck from Texas and I heard it for the first time and I heard the burbles, I got tingles <laughs> on my body. It is so cool. Apparently I'm about to experience full power, as Jack says, yes, no so you're AC. Gonna, you're gonna experience full power um, as the first as passenger, then as the driver. <laughs> I actually really enjoy like the laggy shift to second, like how it just hits you in the face yeah. once you get into that gear, dude, that is so funny. It's your boy's turn. We're driving the 930 Turbo. Uh, I've driven this car a lot at five miles an hour, <laughs> pulling it in and out of storage. Just do a little casual drive here yeah. and move through the gears. Dude, the turbo noise, the yeah. little whistle. The little whistle. Is it all over here? Yeah, because the turbo and the wastegate is all on that side. Now floor second for a second. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That feels good, man. Yeah. There you go. I love that the power is all over the top, man. That yeah. is so cool. It feels like a new car though. That's the weird thing still. Like it, it feels very composed for being a 1986, but also like, I don't really expect anything less from Porsche. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they, they, they always have done such a good job. And this is like clearly a driver's car. It is very raw, although it's composed, like you still feel everything, but it's weird that being that raw with like it looking this nice, yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. when I think of raw car, I think of like 90 Miata or like 240SX clapped out, just stuff flying everywhere off the car, but yeah. it's raw and it like, it feels good. This is like a nice raw. This is the first nice raw experience I've yeah. had, Jack. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Get nice and straight. Okay. And then now floor it. Okay. <laughs> the lag between the shifts is awesome. I love that. It is so unnecessarily overpronounced. Like, that's so old school, dude. That is yeah. so laggy, but in like the best way possible. Yeah. It just feels like, when is it actually school? Three and a half. Like four is where it really starts to, to kick up. To kick up. Yeah. What a nice little turbo. What a nice <laughs> little turbo Porsche we're in today, folks. Yeah. All right, I'm back on the side of the road because we're gonna listen to this thing from the outside, baby. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's absolutely no better sound than an externally gated Porsche 911 Turbo. It's just. It doesn't happen, man. It's crazy to think that they came like that. Obviously this has a modified exhaust, but the fact that they came with any external wastegate at all is crazy. I'm pleased to announce that you did spit a large flame. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna get it in the light, but I could see it and it was like, that's probably a two foot flame. So 
So I just did a poll for Jack. He's never heard the car from the outside before, and he's. <laughs> I'd, it's safe to say he's happy with the way that it sounds. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Insane car, loud external wastegate, nicest feeling rowdy car I've ever been in by far. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting me drive it. Thanks for taking me on a ride. Boys, we will catch you guys on the next episode. Do not forget, check out www.garagelift.com to become a member Do it. and be part of the experience. Other than that, boys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.